there's a large group of people who may not feel like they're lost, may not think that they're lost, but are very lost. And those are the spiritually dead or the ones that claim to be Christians, but aren't really Christians. We may have all been that. You may know a lot of people who are like that. We have all been there. That's not an excuse to stay in sin. When we say that Christianity is not a religion, it's a relationship, that does not give us, nor the people we're talking to, the excuse to do whatever we want. That's not a relationship. That's not how relationships work. Relationships require work. If you and I were married and I just completely neglected you and pretended I was single, would our marriage last long? I don't think so you would feel hurt and it's the same with god marriage is a metaphor for how christ redeems his bride the church that's what marriage is like marriage is two-sided now of course you'll mess up you'll make mistakes we all do but you have to try in order to feel like you're even messing up it is by grace through faith that you have been saved not a result of works so that no one may boast but faith without works is dead. Not because you can be saved by your works, but your works are an indication that you are saved. Does that make sense? Your works are like the fruit of your salvation. And he or she who abides in Christ will bear much fruit. Your fruits, your acts of love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, gentleness, faithfulness, self-control, those are your kingdom identifiers. Put it this way, friends, if you are not 100% confident that you are going to heaven when you die or when Christ comes back, let me encourage with all the love in my heart, you to go and examine your heart today to see if the gospel is truly written on your heart the way that we claim it is. There is no more time left to be a lukewarm Christian. I'm sorry, but someone had to say it. That doesn't mean you're not going to keep on messing up. You will. You are a sinner, but you're a sinner in the hands of a God who loves you and he molds you to become a son or a daughter. We talk about it all the time. I hope that makes sense. I love you. That's why I'm saying all of this. Repent and believe the gospel. It is the power to save.